West Davis Highway is one step closer to completion with the help of some unique blocks. This will bring you back to your childhood, right? When you put blocks together, just in a different way, a more permanent structure. If you're driving past, you're saying, okay, those are white blocks. Uh, we'll tell you what role they play in construction, too. New specialist Kara Bracken joins us now live from Farmington. Kara, you talked to UDOT about this. Hey, Dan, Shara, yeah, truthfully, I said that they look like the packing material you get when you buy something offline. It looked lightweight, it looked foam-like, and turns out I wasn't too far off. A lot of people are asking, are you building ramps out of styrofoam? And the simple answer is yes. Blocks stacked on top of blocks made of polystyrene, what UDOT calls geofoam. It's lightweight, and the reason why we're using it is because earth, concrete, um, asphalt are really heavy and uh, this polystyrene is about 100 times lighter than those materials. While it may not seem that strong, looks are deceiving. One square foot of this uh, material, when, when the weight is equal across it, can hold over four tons. It's not a new idea. In fact, Harris says they've used geofoam since the 90s, back in the days when the Olympics came to town. A lot of people don't know that they're driving over a lot of fills that have this very material in it when they're driving through Salt Lake County. He says from what they're building here, the white blocks you see will be covered in the next couple weeks. Then over the next three or four months, decks will be built on the structures with the hope that by the end of this year, that West Davis Highway will be open for cars to drive across it. Guys. That's incredible, Kara. Yeah. I did not know that. That's fantastic. Yeah. 8,000 pounds held back by a, a square foot of that stuff. Styrofoam. <laughs> incredible. All right, Kara, thank you.